Hello everyone, Mental Fox here. This week for the Sunday Sampler, we're going to be trying out a game that was suggested by one of my Facebook followers. He's been very vocal about it, and uh, I had never heard of the game, so I went out and watched a trailer for it, and it looks really cool. So I wanted to bring it to you guys as a Sunday Sampler this week. It's Observer, and we're going to give it a shot. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanofade, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one, the great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozalski. I'm an observer. So the Steam description for this game goes like this. What would you do if your fears were hacked? Observer is a cyberpunk horror game from Blooper Team, the creators of Layers of Fear. Discover a dark cyberpunk world beset by plagues, war, and squalor. Play as the new front line of neural police as you hack into the jagged minds of the insane. Like I said, I watched a preview for this and I thought it looked pretty neat and I've been told that it is neat. So let's go ahead and hit new game here and get started with Observer. Zuzarski, you there? Hmm. Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Okay, so we're going to interact with something. Uh, I'm not sure what. We've got somebody who's trying to in, get in touch with us. I'm looking for something that may be a radio. This might be it. Oh, here we go. Here's a button right here. Let's interact with this. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not yet, sure, or don't worry about it. Whoa! Uh, not yet, sure, don't worry about it. Just, just don't worry about it, alright? I will. In a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Okay, we could press the middle mouse button to check our status and use Synchrozine. Okay, this is us, Daniel Lazarski. Uh, we've got a case log here that, um, well, nothing to see here. Uh, can we press this to take our medicine? Okay, we did. Oh, good stuff. Whoa. Thanks. 
there you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, any work for me or I don't need a babysitter? Ah, uh, let's get right to it. You got any work for me? What's this about? Just checking in or you need me downtown? Neat. Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Whoa. Uh-oh. Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. I thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years, but it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's... can't be for nothing. It doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch. Display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking butter. Okay, I'm going to guess that these are the stacks here, uh, where we've come to find Adam, and wow, that was a really neat intro, very evocative of Nine, a Nine Inch Nails video, wouldn't you agree? I happen to be a big Nine Inch Nails fan, so I got a kick out of that. Uh, I like the music, I like the visuals. Uh, did you see that the voice of Daniel Lazarski is Rutger Hauer himself? Even the picture of the guy looks like Rutger Hauer, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, here's a poster here in Polish. Luckily, it's going to translate it for us down here. Join us now. Hard work and patience is all it takes to achieve a civic status upgrade. And then uh, there was a quick message that said that our case log has been updated. So I'm going to hit the ma middle mouse button here to bring it up. Uh, let's see. Uh, case log. Case number 405, Finding Adam. Locate Adam's apartment. My son contacted me after all these years. I don't know what happened, but it sounded like he was in trouble. I tracked his call to a rundown tenement building. So I, I really like the uh, cyberpunk look and feel of this game already. Um, I'm hoping that it is as cool as it looks because it looks pretty stinking cool right now. Yet, uh, whoa, I think I have my keys mapped backwards. Hold on a second. <laughs> There we go, that's better. So yeah, some kind of... Hey. hey, how's it going? You okay? Am I in your way? Is there a problem? Okay, he just says, hey. Well, how bad can this be? This place be? It has uh, its own... Um, cleanup robot. So, we're all, we got a ground floor here, we got a first floor, we got a second floor, and a third floor. Uh, how do we find where Adam is? I don't know. I'm guessing that that glowing red up there is uh, where we currently are. Right mouse click gives us a little bit of a zoom. Oh, hey, <laughs> how's it going there? I didn't see you there. Who's this guy? Check him out. Let's talk to him. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, tenant? Huh? Uh, tenant? What? Yes? No? What? Uh, what? No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant. Uh, yeah. Um, sort of. Name. Uh, ooh, Lazarski or Grabinski? Well, when we used our computer to track this down, it said it came from a Grabinski, so I'm thinking that's probably the name we should give, huh? Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Mm -hmm. oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. <laughs> so if he thinks we're a tenant, why is he giving us detailed directions on how to get to our home? Case log's been updated. Let's take a look at it again. Uh, the janitor gave me the number of Adam's apartment heading there now. Let's go. So it's, we're actually supposed to go to the courtyard. Um, interesting. Can we open this? We cannot. There's like an X there. Hmm. The fact that that is interactable makes me wonder if at some point we will be able to get in there. And there's some stairs here that just go to this advertisement for Irato. Impeccable sound recording quality even under the harshest conditions. So yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why there has to be some steps there that just goes to that. It's kind of strange. Ooh, the Polymath uh, 31A. It's the state-of-the-art holographic display. It offers virtual reality-grade immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. Good, 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 good. Oh, there's a tattoo gun here. Uh, let's uh, hold the mouse button here and uh, push the door. Okay, there we go. Wow, why does this place look so weird? Attention citizens, curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. What a neat art style. Very cool. So he told us to go through the courtyard. Uh, turn right, turn left, go straight, turn right, if I remember correctly. And I'm not sure that I do, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Don't know why this stuff has to be in these cubes. 
but uh, yeah, whatever. Can I run? I can. I can pick up the pace a little bit. Um, doesn't look like I can get past these garbage cans. They are impossible to get past. Try get a cola up there. Oh man, that sounds good. All right, we'll go through this door here. And here's somebody's door. Oh, really? Huh. Well, he said turn right, turn left. And then go straight. Yeah, okay. But what if I went up this way? Ah, the game won't let me. <laughs> oh, there's like a thing there blocking our way. Interesting, okay. So it's pretty linear here right at the start. Here's apartment number two. Whoa. We look in the peephole? Huh? <laughs> what the heck? Whoa! Okay. Wow. This is bizarre. But I like bizarre, so that's okay. Here's apartment number three. I'm just gonna try to get in all of them, man. Maybe this is their doorbell I'm trying to ring here. I don't know, but why does it look so weird? Uh, something that I should probably uh, mention or notice is that when Adam was talking to us, he said, make sure you remember one thing, Dad. You are not in control. So that is probably something pretty important to remember, right? Here's apartment eight. Here's apartment seven right here. Door's open, so let's just go on in. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Whoa. The hell indeed. Case log updated. The apartment's been trashed. Clear signs of a struggle. Need to proceed carefully. God knows what I'll find in here. Okay, I'm already crouching, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, can I get through this? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's move this out of the way. Whoa. This is neat. Oh, wow. I just noticed I could see my body, too. That's always nice. I always like it when I can see my body. Holy cow. That looks like blood. I'm gonna crouch down here, make myself a smaller target in case there's anybody in here. Oh no, there's a body over there. Whoa, 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 okay. Game's taking control of the camera. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Is his head missing? Can't really tell. Administering mild sedative. Dispatch. This is Nazarsky. ID six five six two one zero. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, his head's missing. It's fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, maybe it's not Adam. Operational efficiency restored. Can I turn on a light or something? It's kind of dark in here. This is Lazarski 656210, setting up a crime scene. Okay, uh, let us activate our electromagnetic vision. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. All right, let's uh, analyze his compass. Well, I don't know what got to start somewhere. HN. This is a compass implant. Missed call from HN. That's what it says there. Uh, it tells the model and analysis communicate communi consumer grade communication device warning illegal modification detected heavy encryption. Hmm. What's this? 6 million volts wasn't enough. 6 million volts press Q to activate biovision. Okay. 
All right, it's a stun baton. Nice. Tells us that the manufacturer was Chiron. Structural damage detected. Yep, it's a stun baton. All right. Uh, all right, and then we got a body here. Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Okay. Some lacerations there on the body. Uh, let's see. So, human blood, no match found. Warning: contaminants detected. Failed to extract forensic data. Hmm. Uh, is this another complacent? How did this get over here now? Maybe I moved and didn't realize it. I don't know. What's this? Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Huh. So we can't tell who this guy is. It's illegal software and unlicensed hardware. So we're unable to identify this guy. Whoa. Blood. Okay. What's this over here? Whoa. What's this? Oh, okay. We're going to open this. All right. An identity card. Oh, no. First name Adam. Last name Lazarski. He worked for Chiron. Huh. Card validity expired. Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. You're not going to mention anything about it being your son? Okay. Uh, am I just going to leave it there? Can I not take it with me? More stuff to look at in here, I guess. This is bizarre, man. Collateral damage or evidence disposal? Cloud station server. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Or here or there. found a, a Sarasync 7 processor. Yep, looks like a processor. Okay, am I supposed to do something with it? Looking at it with BioVision now. Doesn't seem to do anything. Printed Look. Printed on real paper. Oh, an archaic for you, Adam. 1984. How about that? This game takes place in 2084. Uh, BioVision going to show us anything on this book? Any fingerprints or anything? Guess not. Okay. Here's uh, some clothes. Oh, here's a processor board. Motherboard. It's kind of old. What can you tell me, EM Vision? Yep, it's a motherboard. I know that. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing stuff with this? Okay, the BioVision isn't really showing me anything. Whoa. Super dark, man. Ignored? What? What? What the hell is going on? Is this something I'm supposed to interact with down here? That's just that processor board. Alright. Okay, come on now. Open up. Yeah, so if I look with the, this vision... Okay, so I guess this is just telling... These little uh, brackets here are letting me know that there's something behind something else. That's what it's doing here. So, right here on the ground... 
telling me something is ignored, but I don't know what the heck this means. I don't know what's up with this server. Why is my dude walking around, moving around so much? What the heck happened here? Um, let me look at my case. Found a headless corpse in the apartment. Might be him. Can't be. I should search the apartment. Maybe I could find some clues. Okay. Maybe. Leave the apartment. Identify the caller. I need to find the woman who tried to contract the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HN. Uh, leave the apartment. The lockdown triggered the apartment's auxiliary security system. My, foren my forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it, but we're still investigating the crime scene, I believe. Huh. Found the uh, bathroom. Man, look at this place. EM vision isn't showing us anything in here. Biovision. Something here. This is um, 500 milligrams of synchrozine. Powerful augmentation stabilizer. Strict dosage control advised. Synchrozine refilled. Okay, cool. We picked up some synchrozine. Man, this is bizarre. I wish I knew what that ignored business was. I guess just the game's way of saying there are things around here that might look important at first but really aren't. I don't know. Trying to make the game a little bit more realistic. Let's see what's going on in here. What a nasty place. Who's a couch in their kitchen? Well, the bio uh, view isn't seeing anything. Now it is. Here we found some... Controlled substance 45F that are known as feed. You've never touched this, Gwen. So 25 grams of illegal psychoactive substance. I can't seem to take this with me. So really all I'm doing is switching back and forth between my EM vision and my um, bio vision. Here's something. What's this? Uh, so this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. Right. Uh, 13th April 2068. So it was quite a few years ago. Uh, I wonder why our face is um, digitized out. I mean, I'm assuming that's us if we're his father. Why is our face digitized out? Why don't you say something about that, me? Huh. Okay, well, our guy has nothing to say about that, so... I don't know what to say about that. Okay, we could turn on a fan. That's a nice little touch there. Oh boy, we could look through cabinets. Yeah, nothing in there that I could see. Oh gosh, there's drawers we could open. What do we got a keyboard here? Alright, nothing there. Wow. So, uh, lots of stuff we could look at. But uh, nothing going on in here. It's like a big gas can down there. I guess I don't really need to look in all of these, do I? Because uh, my EM vision tells me when something is behind something now, doesn't it? So wh what, what more clues am I supposed to be finding in here? There's something... What is this thing trying to show me? Uh, a second ago, I thought it was showing me something in this direction. Eh. Making me dizzy. Man, 
Okay. This band was busted. The signal must have come from somewhere else. The signal. He's got all kinds of crap. There's something up here. Can I look at it? Can I not get to it? Let's, oh, okay, there's... Oh, we need to go through here. Stand back up. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. Security console. Okay. So maybe we could follow these wires somewhere. Security panel. Um, what's something? Okay, can't interact with it. But uh, these uh, wires keep running through here. They run here. Some of them go this way. Huh. Something behind these lights? Something's up there. I don't know what it is, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm following... Oh, where'd it go now? Oh, it's because I keep going, keep going on the wrong thing. No? Now, wait a minute now. Okay, there's the wires. Some of them go up here and they end in that... light up there. And uh, some of them come in here. I can get past this stinking door, closed door. Something right here. Aha! The spot. There has to be something. Bingo. Aha! Enter code. <laughs> well, I don't know what the stinking code is. I don't remember seeing a code at any point. Hmm. Um. Scanning. Keypad. Okay, it just tells me the model and the manufacturer. Okay. What if we did the bio thing on it? Nothing? Huh. Okay, then. Well. Um. Huh. This. You never cared about this stuff. The hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. The hell? This is a data storage unit. Okay. I took it with me. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Unless the game is being selective about what it shows me when. So, um, yeah, there's more cabinets and stuff to open, but again, I'm pretty sure that this uh, EM ability I've got would allow me to see anything interesting behind these doors before I open them. At least that's what I'm going on anyway, as I try to figure out what I'm doing. So, yeah. So, uh, I, w I wish there was a little bit more guidance as to what I'm supposed to do here, uh, because I'm supposed to be this detective guy, and, uh, you know, maybe I'm supposed to know how to do this stuff already, so we've got an identity mixer, we've got, uh, the wound, we've got a compass implant, we've got a stun baton, uh, we've got, um, this, uh, identity card here, and, um, you know, we've already looked at this. We've already looked at all this stuff. And, um, this up here has me intrigued. I, I don't know what to do about that. Cloud station server. I don't know if these are... I don't know, 
man. I, uh... I mean, why is this cloud station server here? Am I supposed to do something with it? I mean, it doesn't look like I can interact with it. It's like a freaking Commodore 64. Uh... Well, I mean... I gotta tell ya... Not real clear... Maybe I did... Okay, it's just gonna show me those last... Oh, okay. Failed. Time of death. About an hour ago. Before he called me. Okay, so this... Time of death was an hour ago before Adam called him, so this is definitely not Adam. Fortunately, failed to extract forensic data. So that's not Adam. Uh, is there anything else I could look at with my uh, bio scan thingy? See, there's that thing again. What's in here? What up? And then when I get close to it, it goes away. I tell you, man, I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, wow, I have spent a lot of time in this room. What's this? Nanophage and I. Okay. All right. Nothing bio on it. Nothing EM about it. Nope. Nothing at all. <sighs> uh. Well, um, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. What was the purpose of these little pieces in here? This processor and this motherboard. I don't know, man. I mean, you'd think there'd be some more bio stuff here in the bathroom, but there's not. Huh. I mean, we look at our case. My forensic vision my forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it. Okay, so I guess we've achieved one of the goals here. My forensic vision might help me find a way to deactivate it. Why well, I, I don't know what else I could interact with here. I mean, you know, I've looked at this stuff. And we know that in here... This is kind of tedious, man. I'm trying to move this stuff. I mean, I like that I can interact with it, but... Oh, is that our clue? 1984? Is that really what I'm supposed to go off of? Because it's kind of vague. Or it's maybe too in your face. I'm not sure which. Let's try it. One, nine, eight, four. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, game. I get it. Aha! I knew there was something up there. Hopefully this thing has got, like, got guns and it's going to shoot me. Whoa, what's this? It's kind of like somebody's head. Kind of. Downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Emails. They know! Uh, it's from HN again. Listen... I know you're busy, you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk, now. I think they're on to me, for real this time. 
I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is, HN. And then complications. Uh, as far as our little mule goes, don't worry, I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize, J. P.S. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. Uh, this is just a um, photo. Oh, no, this is like a newspaper article. Wait a minute, was there more scrolling I could do here? No, it doesn't look like it does it. No scrolling there. No scrolling here. Emergency services are still in the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at a Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KPD and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to, f are yet to find any survivors among the rubble. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. How about that? As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous had his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics the anti-Republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research, focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer product products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction, striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, Police Inspector Robert Pakula gave a prompt and stern reply. Chiron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distraught by the events of the day. We will bring you more on this story as it develops. Documents. Corrupted data. Corrupted data. Corrupted data. Corrupted data. How about that? Programs, home security, open gate or close gate. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Well, not really. Okay, so we used his cool computer there. <laughs> computer looks like a... I don't know. Oh, man, this, he's got some stuff connected to it here. Pretty neat. What's this? Oh, Synchrozine. I'll take that. Synchrozine collected. Uh, it's a personal computer. It's custom. Custom personal computer. Just like mine. Any bio stuff here? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Well, that's kind of neat. Let's get this uh, computer that comes down from the ceiling. I mean, those are some pretty hefty arms to lower this thing down, right? Doesn't look like it would be that heavy. Still don't know what the cloud station server's for. But if we look at our case thing now, um, I guess everything is done. No, it's still saying find a way to deactivate it. We need to identify this caller here. But we did identify it. Or, I mean, we did deactivate. But what's this? A glitch in the system, a brief history of the nanophage. Sigmund Freud, psychoanalytic theory. Was this his book collection? Is this his Kindle? The Future of Robotics by Noah Weinberg. Uh, forensic Genetics, the DNA Blueprints. Mechanical Engineering, Volume 7. An Uneasy Alliance, History of Cybernetic Augmentation. 
human consciousness, God's creation, or evolutionary accidents. Nanotechnology and modern medicine. One-way street, musings on artificial intelligence. Are these real books? I, don't, I actually don't know. I hope that wasn't a dumb question. Uh, the wound-up soul, maybe? So this is telling us that this is a holographic library. Model Agoracore XO-2. Boy, this Chiron makes a lot of stuff, huh? And then we're back to the starting. Okay. Okay, that's kind of neat, right? So there's like stuff around here that you can interact with, but you're not going to notice it unless you're right on top of it. How'd this get shut? I didn't shut. Ooh, there's a bottom drawer too. No, nothing there, but uh, yeah, I didn't shut this. How'd it get shut? Huh, I guess I can't take that card with me. It seems like he'd want to take his card, right? That might be useful. It might get us into Chiron. But, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't take it with me. You can't take it with you. Alright. So, um, I guess we're done in here and we could go ahead and leave this place. Leave this body sitting here. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. No way. What the hell? What's going on? It's making all that noise out there. It sounds freaky, man. Whoa. out here. Is this the way I came in? It's not, is it? Whoa, what the? Yeah, we walked past apartment 8. What the Can't get there. I'm just trying doors, man. Has my case been updated? Uh, okay. So we need to find the woman who uh, contacted the victim. We need to interrogate the neighbors. Might be a good idea to interrogate the local tenants. They might give me some clues as to what happened to Adam. Well. Okay, good. It's calming down here. Whoa. Whoa, and that door opened. Can we interrogate the neighbors? This thing here that we're looking at is um, a holocom panel. Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! Alright, so he's not going to help us. He is not going to be of any use, but I do notice that my holographic, or my EM vision shows me something over there, but that might have been something that was in Adam's apartment, actually. So, can't get in this door. Oh, they've... What's this unit? This is a little different. What's this thing? Is this just another holographic unit? Holocom panel, yes. Ooh, warning. Unlicensed modification detected. Hi, this is Tom. And Irene. <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> the heck was that a picture of that showed up there? That was weird. Alright, so those neighbors aren't worth anything. Is this something on the ground? No. It's hard to tell what I can interact with and what I can't. What the heck is this place? Apartment 9. Can't get in. Let's rig the doorbell. Hey, PD. I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh-uh. 
Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? What's this about? Shouting? Eh, we don't need to talk about shouting. Do you know the tenant in apartment 7? I thought I told you to shut up! Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Uh, he might be my son or police business. Uh... I don't know. Let's be honest with him. My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very memorable. Okay. Um, anything suspicious? Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh. You're way dumber. Shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep. I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B class district in no time. Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. Well, uh, I don't really feel like we learned anything there, do you? Let's see if our case says anything. Hmm, well, nothing new has shown up here, so I'm going to say that that probably wasn't very useful. Another door over here. So I'd like to try to see if I could go in at first, <laughs> before I ring the doorbell. <laughs> Nothing? Hmm, I wonder if this will tell me if it's broken. Eh, doesn't say. Okay. Well. We got more neighbors through here. I don't know why all this equipment's sitting out here like this. But it doesn't look like I can interact with it. There's a circuit breaker or something over there. But we're supposed to be interrogating the neighbors. Okay, nobody home or it's broken. Can't go in here. Okay, nothing going on there. Ooh. Whoops. Synchrozine refilled. Refilled my synchrozine. Nice. Okay, it's telling us where we are in this crazy place. Whoa, he had apartment 7. That's a nice big apartment. <laughs> he had the best apartment in here, except for maybe 17 over here. Yeah. Nice place. So we'll just keep going down this hallway, I guess. So what's this thing for? A keypad. Hmm. Well, we can interact with it, but, uh... Ooh, we could hack it. Hack. Okay, we're trying to hack it. Oh, searching for patterns. Okay, well. Well, that was easy. We hacked ourselves into that. I don't know why we wanted to. It gives us access to the uh, other wing of this place, I guess. Wow, we even have a shadow. Nice details. This is 
so bizarre. And isn't it weird, like, when we move our head, like, the vision gets kind of pixelated? What's up with that? Why does it do that? Whoa! This guy just shut the door. Okay. Okay. Well. Nobody's home. Check out my bio vision every once in a while. I mean, are we like a cyborg or something? Is that what we are? Is that why we're able to do this stuff? <laughs> okay. I don't know what that was on the ground, but it was interesting. Got some lockers here, but uh, my cool vision isn't saying there's anything in here. Don't know whether it could be trusted yet or not. To tell me whether anything's inside of lockers. What's this? What's this all about? Uh, Mateus Kurzacek. Occupation unemployed, cause of death classified. It's got a date of birth, age of death, notes, body, are ready for disposal. Oh, we took it. Okay. <laughs> but he said nothing about it. Um, and nothing in here. All right, we're just continuing on our way here. Okay, saying hello to everybody. But uh Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're going to fucking need it. Oh, okay. Let me in. Well, I guess he's not going to talk to us now. Now what? A bird flying around in here. What's up, bird? What's up, my bird? What the heck is this thing? A bomb? What is this thing? Oh, it's like a little the little car that we saw a moment ago, I think. Is this what we saw zipping past us? Just a remote control device. Warning, erratic wave frequency, unable to trace source. Okay. Door unlocked. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I think that somebody's trying to lead us here. What do you think? Remember when we were looking at a map a moment ago and I was talking about how Adam had the biggest apartment except for maybe 17? Well, what do you know? Here's 17. Well, let's go in. Let's see if anything gets picked up on my EM. There's a computer there. Why are the graphics so weird? I mean, they're awesome. I mean, they really are. It has a really neat style, but why does it get that weird kind of pixelated effect when I look around? I'm assuming that's on purpose. I hope it is, and it's not just some weird game glitch. So, what we've got here is a Chiron computer, I guess personal computer, the Airgia 350 Plus. Uh-oh, unlicensed software detected. Voices from below don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have been given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. 
The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words, bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are, unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. 1. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. 2. Implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like the most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the odd, odd jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur, occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. So remember a moment ago I asked, are we a cyborg? Well, apparently we have implants. Uh, erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. Juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries and, unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over C districts, so chances are we'll find you. Now, here's what you definitely don't want to do. 1. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be a nasty case of pigeon flu or an old implant gone haywire. 2. Don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. 3. Do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subver subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones that they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack Caution. it in. Low synchronization. Administer synchrozine. Oh. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. I wonder if that's why our vision's getting weird. Because, because our synchrozine is going, is, uh, is uh, running out. That is a neat effect. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my uh, little thingy here, and I'm going to administer for some synchrozine. Yes. <laughs> Increasing injected. Strain level decreased. Oh, look. The weird vision's gone. This is neat. <laughs> so this whole time I was looking at this computer and I was like, man, why is this computer all jiggly? <laughs> it was because we were low on the, the stuff, man. I could have read this without it being all jiggly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, emails, undelivered mail notification. This guy tried to send an email. The following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. Content blocked by Chironet, Fire, Chironet Firewall. Original, original message, my dear Annie, 
By the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that for all my faults, I have always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me tr died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I am so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. So this, uh, Annie's dad lived in this apartment, it would seem. Who is this guy? I don't know. Documents. Well, there's no documents. Uh, here's a program with fire and sword. Press fire to s start. With fire and sword. Spiders. What the heck? Those bloody spiders again. Ah! Oh, here we are. Okay. Picking up coins. Okay. <laughs> you made it! Okay. Okay, that just takes us back here. And then we can go to level two if we want. Those bloody spiders again. Okay. Did I get the spider? Did I kill it? Oh, it took my weapon. Oh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I'm starting to see how this works. Huh. Yay! Alright. Huh. <laughs> okay. And then we could exit this. So, um... This apartment belonged to Angie's dad. Doing a little bit of bio scanning here. You'd think there might be something on the bed, but there's not. Do a little bit of uh, EM. See if there's anything em -y in here. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, this guy... Okay, I guess that's some kind of server in a refrigerator. Doesn't seem like it would be ventilated very well, but hey, what do you know? What do I know? sure what's going on there. What the? Remove your implants. Remove your implant, it says. Whoa, what, huh? Whoa, what, huh? Whoa, no. Okay, we have found a hanged body here. Why does my guy rock and forth like that when I'm on my feet? I guess because he can't hold still, I don't know. I'll be doggone, man. Remove your implant, it says. And I can't get through there. Did that open up anything in our case uh, log? Not really. Whoa. So I can't get in there. And, um... Oh, here we go. Let's see who this was. Human body. Male. 77 kilograms. 174 centimeters tall. Blood type B negative. No life signs or no life functions detected. Anything else I could do? Can't EM him. So... That didn't really tell me anything. I mean, I already knew it was a body. I didn't need the, my implant to tell me this. Okay. So, here we've got a message from a person who killed himself, it would seem, saying, remove your implants. This little RC device here. 
who was driving this car how did it you know why did it lead us here many questions very few answers <laughs> well that's gonna do it for this Sunday sampler I'm sorry to say <laughs> I gotta end somewhere, man. I've already been playing for over an hour, and uh, Sunday samplers usually last about an hour, so uh, that is where this one is going to end. Hopefully leaving you wanting more. I am certainly intrigued. I have never heard of this game. It has a really neat style, and uh, what looks like maybe an interesting story. If you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments below. I thank you guys for joining me on this Sunday sampler. There's this guy again. If you enjoyed this Sunday sampler, let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sure to hope I'll see you again in another video soon.